Welcome, my friendly friends, to Monarch. I kind of bought this on a whim because somebody described it as basically like an old uh, a Shin Megami Tensei game, or at least a second try at a Shin Megami Tensei game by people who actually worked on the older games. Um, I didn't see that it was made by Fudiyu until I actually got the physical case in my hand. Not to say there's anything wrong with them, but... Like... They did make Caligula or the Caligula effect. And I really wanted to like like it. But I played the demo of the first one. I and I was like, yeah. Turn on to reduce damage taken by 30% and mad gained in the mist by 50%, but decrease item drop rate. Uh, we're turning casual mode off. If you wish to be your own person, to have your own ego. Then don't give in to what others call normal. So we're already off to a good start because they had enough faith in Monarch to actually give it an English dub. Which the Caligula effect, to my knowledge, didn't have? No, I think I'm wrong about that. I think Calig uh, the Caligula effect did have an English dub. Either way, the gameplay wasn't it. So we'll see. We'll see how Shin Megami Tensei this is. Only you can defend your will and desires. Your beliefs and morals. Because in this unjust world formed of incomplete thoughts, your ego is what makes you who you are. Should the world deny your ego and refuse to accept it, then prove to the world that you live by your own rules. Okay. Not really sure what's going on at the moment, but we shall see. Are you awake? Then show me. Show me your ego. So it looks like we're gonna start things off with a battle, I'm assuming. Alright, I give some uh some skellingtons. Some scary skeletons. Get ready! Ooh. Ah. Select a location to perform an action. I guess we wanna run up on these dudes, right? Arts slash power 100%. Perform a normal attack with a knife. Hmm. Can we get... I guess we can only choose... Or we only, can only get one person with this particular attack then. They both have a... Nine, we have a 95% chance to hit. So what is this? Fire Emblem rules? Are you for real? We missed on the 5%? Bro! Bro! Was that supposed to happen? Oh, okay. They got us! Okay. But someone said this was like SMT if, so I guess that's not super surprising. Little one just isn't good enough. Mm. So it's less shocking than if I hadn't known that going in. Oh, okay, so we got a flash backwards. Or I guess we started in Medius Res. The uniforms here look pretty slick. So I guess that's our class president. Definitely a party member. Our AV nerd. She's definitely a party member too. Uh, Anti-social person? She's wearing like slide uh, she's wearing like slide ons in the school which is kind of weird but it's not a golden butterfly but we'll take a butterfly 
Oh, tough guy. Is there supposed to be like a J-pop theme song standing? Okay. So he's got a bat. She might be, uh, like the standard. Oh! Oh, never mind. No, she might be the Yukari of this game. Or I guess I should probably call her... Nah. No, we'll call her the Yukari. I guess at this point, that's a deep cut, because that game is like 14 years old at this point. Uh-oh! Hmm... What if the world was thrown into the demon realm? Are we gonna have to kill our classmates? This is a lot like SMTF. And I keep saying that, but very few people are gonna know what the heck I'm talking about. This seems like Caligula effect, this whole chromatic aberration type thing. Well, Mr. New Student, your name, if you would. She is super pale. Oh my gosh, vampiric. Uh, same as us. Dude, what the heck? And I had not given any thought to this because I did not know we were going to have to name ourselves. Um... Oh my gosh. These always take me so long. Um We're Japanese. Well Can we call ourselves Um Oh my gosh. Let's call ourselves... Um... Suba... We'll call ourselves Subasa. Uh... Oza. Sure, Subasa Oza. I picked it and I already don't like it. It's probably gonna be I different by next episode. It. How terribly charming. That's a wonderful name. Welcome to Shin Mikado Academy. I am Yoru, otherwise known as your Dean. I think Yoru means knight. But I wonder what Mikado means, because the first time I ever heard Mikado was in Shimagami Tensei 4. And I probably shouldn't keep bringing up the SMT series, but. Now, now. You can let your guard down. I just wanted to chat, is all. Especially with someone as extraordinary as you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. They'll pertain to your ego and the seven desires that make up your will. Oh, this is intriguing. What does school life mean to you? Uh... Well, you only live once. How about in class? Why'd her voice get quieter? Do you studiously take notes during lectures? I actually did when I was in school. Your teacher lauds the teacher's pet despite their bad grades. What do you think of this? They don't deserve it, obviously. What? It seems like your friend is about to mess something up. What do you do? I don't genuinely I wouldn't say anything. You're standing in line for hmm, let's say ramen. Someone cuts in front of you, but you've been waiting for ages. What do you do? Uh I absolutely say something to them. Maybe not back of the line, but I'm like, bro, like you can't just stand in front of me. You need money to fulfill your goals, but you're flat broke. What do you do? I 
I don't want to give up, but I also wouldn't go into debt. I don't have the option to save? Uh, I have to give up or go into debt. I think for the time being, I would give up because then I would save. Have you ever looked at a naughty website on your phone or your desktop, maybe? <laughs> Listen, OK. I'm a millennial. The internet itself was the wild, wild west when I was growing up. You guys understand how it is now? It was even crazier back then. I appreciate the honesty. Okay, let's say you're at a buffet. How do you decide what to eat? Uh... I try as many different foods as I can. I'm not really all that picky. These are basically the same thing. But honestly... I'll go for the pizza, pizza, sushi, bread, and I order a tea. I basically get the same thing every single time. So I guess I try as many different foods as I can is definitely wrong. I'm not really all that picky, I guess. This would kind of be read sarcastically, right? A situation has already been settled, but someone insists on disagreeing. How do you respond? If it's already been settled, I'd be annoyed. Someone you hate is loved by everyone around you. What do you think about that? <laughs> I keep it to myself, but I would privately, I'd be extremely ticked. You're forced to take on a leadership role. How do you make your decisions? It's my way or the highway. Definitely not. I do know what I do, though. As far as a leadership role, you take everybody's input and then you get everybody to choose one option and then you go forward with that. And if everybody can't agree, then you're the tiebreaker, basically. But it's definitely not my way or the highway. Oh my gosh. Everybody's worked with people who are terrible in groups, but I was not prepared to like go into the workforce and find people who still operated on a middle school level. But I guess I'll say I don't know what I do. That's closer to the truth than it's my way or the highway because I don't operate like that. Would you say you've ever truly loved someone? Yes, actually. It's only happened once in my entire life. And I didn't think I was capable of it before then, so it was a very welcome uh, surprise. But yes, one time ever. If you had extra free time and money, how would you spend it? <laughs> I wouldn't change my life at all. That's a friggin' lie. What would you do if someone started spreading baseless rumors about you? Get depressed and let it happen? No friggin' way! Is there someone or something you care for with every fiber of your being? Not really. I couldn't even say I care about myself like that. There are times when I know I should be doing something, but I'll just I'll just keep the lights off and just stay in bed. And I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> This is going to create so many problems for future me. I'll eventually deal with it, but someone or something you care for with every fiber of your being? In all honesty, there's not. Choose one of these sets of words, would you? Release, propel, explode, contrast, spite, contempt, love, unity, fate. <laughs> if I'm still being brutally honest... One of the three, the three sets of words that I would pick, let's do contrast, spite, and contempt. <laughs> it's not the entirety of my personality, but I think this, I think this encapsulates it more. Your desire for envy surpasses all others. You begrudge people for things you don't have. Though you spend a lot of time comparing yourself to others, this in itself has caused you to grow as a person. You must be a pretty good judge of character. So, the seven deadly sins, huh? In Shin Megami Tensei If, the game opens with a fortune teller named Nova asking you a bunch of questions as well. And then, at the end, you get your build. Strength, agility, speed, or balanced, I believe. No, strength, agility, speed, or luck. But, uh, it looks like this is a bit more... bit more explored, I guess. Your desires are quite strong indeed. 
You have a firm sense of self and a stable ego. Something about you seems unbalanced, though. I hope she says that to everybody. None of your desires should be neglected, you know? Without desires, your ego can't grow. Without an ego, you're no different from a doll. So be frank with what you want as you attend this academy and live how you see fit. So, envy is our highest. Then we've got wrath, lust, sloth, gluttony, with nothing in pride or greed. Thank you. I understand you so terribly well now. I never get to chat with others this much. It's nice. Life at the Academy may be tough, but I know you'll be able to adapt to it right away. Let's speak again if our paths cross. And remember, I'm expecting great things from you. But if our paths cross, isn't she the headmistress? Ta-ta. Wake up. Was that Stephanie Shea? He looks like a. He seems all right. Yeah. He looks like a nurse, not a party member. You're okay. You're really okay. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> No, she's the AV nerd. You okay? Can you stand? Hmm. Uh. The mist is too thick. Let's move. The uh, casual setting did mention something about mist. Something about 30% mist reduction or something. Main building, second floor mist. Mad, 0%. Okay. Stop. Hold up. You're already winded, bro? I think I'm actually dying. Can't go on. You're out of breath already. We barely moved. You really should exercise more often, Dr. Kakeru. Okay, yeah. So, because he's dressed like the school nurse. Who's got the time? I'm a weak old man. You trying to kill me uh, with Nozama, was it? Kakeru has Nozome Hinata. You work here. The least you can do is remember the students' names. Yeah, we gotta pick a cooler name than Tsubasa. Hey, I'm a doctor, not a teacher. Besides, I'm more used to calling you Prez anyway. <clears throat> so So much has happened. I couldn't find you for a week. You have no idea how worried I was. Who? So did we die a week ago then? And then we... I'm so glad you're okay though. When we heard a student collapse on the second floor, I never imagined it'd be your brother, Chio. Oh. That's our sister? Okay. The second year building is connected to this one. Maybe he came from over there. So this is the first year build. No. We're in the... Oh, this has main... It was main building, second floor. So no, I guess this is the first year's building then. Hey, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Uh, Let's ask, who are you? That's not very funny. This is no time to be joking, you know. That's definitely not Stephanie Shea. Wait. 
You really can't remember? Not even a little bit. Huh? What's your name? You remember that much at least, right? Wait. Chio, I thought your last name was Aikawa. Ah. Um, well, our family isn't exactly a traditional one. I guess you could do that, but that is really weird. And I don't I guess no matter where you go in the world, it'd be weird for siblings to have two different last names. Ah, uh, I see. I wonder if Can you remember anything besides your name? I'm really curious as to if they say anything differently. I feel like I feel like they don't. They just act like, well. Hmm. Cause the kanji, like, you could spell it the same way in English, but the kanji could be different in Japanese. But they probably don't react at all, even if you did somehow happen to pick Aikawa. Family, friends, anything about the school? Anything at all. Headmistress Yoru, that's it. Uh, let's pick the second I don't remember a thing. No. <laughs> is she is the mist actually killing her? I'll bet whatever made him collapse is also the cause of his amnesia. Well, the mist does tend to drive people crazy. Don't say that. We don't know much about it. It's bad for people with weak respiratory systems though. Like Chico here. So, if you're asthmatic, you're boned? Uh, my name is Chio. But despite all that, your little sis came all the way here to see you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. You understand what I mean? Not particularly? Man, you forget your manners, too. You're the last person I want to hear chastising people over their manners, Dr. Kakeru. He did forget everybody's name. The least you could do is thank her. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, we've had our little breather. Let's move. We should hurry on out of here. Have we always looked There's like no mist on the first floor? It'll be safer there. Mist. Uh, we shall see. We're one percent mad. I wonder if this is mad as in insane. Two percent mad. We could stand here and probably hit 100% mad. But this is probably the mechanic that governs how long we can stay in the mist. A phone call? But we've had no service this entire time. It's the plot. Who could possibly be calling right now? Maybe it's someone from the outside. Maybe they'll be able to help us. Oh, uh, that's a little optimistic for me, but we'll see. Wait. Hello? Oh. What's that sound? My head hurts. Everyone, stay close. So, oh. I thought a monster was going to jump out of the phone, but guess not. Okay, so we call ourselves into battle? Where are we? Why is she KO'd? Just unconscious. What about the rest of you? 
Everyone all right? But why is she passed out though? Okay. The Skellingtons are back. Huh? What the Look out! Ooh. Run where? We got transported here, dude. And leave you behind? Not a chance. I'm staying right here with you. Don't be stupid. You're just gonna get us all killed. I don't care. I'm not going to let you sacrifice yourself. Shit. What are okay, what do we have to do though? How do we friggin' end up here? Okay. Honestly, that seems kind of promising. Oh, our mascot is here. <laughs> Fruitless facade. False, fretful, and failing. Funny and fragile. Quite the formation. So this thing loves its alliteration. <gasps> yeah, who are you? Tremble in delight. Is this thing gonna be is this thing gonna grant us our powers? This thing looks like it's bound in its character portrait. And so too do I hold your destiny. Wait, wait, unhand me, you uncouth, unkind underling. The impudence instantly interrupting my interlude. I asked you a question, right? Speak plainly. Hurtful heathen, deranged devil, sadistic, sadist. <laughs> Got us with that last one. You may refer to me as Vanitas. Vanitas, okay. Lend me your power, tell me how to beat them. All right, well, lend me your power, bro. Hey, can you at least pretend to be petrified? Really put me off my game here, pal. Power is not a present to be provided. Pacify your predicament personally. We got to do it on our own? Okay, but how? Do we snatch a sword out of their hands and start swinging or what? These dastardly dissidents are demons. Lackeys of their lowest level. Legions. But even the lowliest legion would leave a lack-witted lug like you lifeless. Right. As we experienced, we missed on a 95% chance to hit, dude. The Fire Emblem PTSD is real. I, however, possess a plethora of power. Prostrate before me and pray I spare you. Yeah, we're not going to beg you for help, my guy. Show me the delightful sight of your struggle to survive this plight, and I just might. Hey! Have you heard even one single word I've said? Go at them unarmed, and you're as good as dead. So it speaks in rhymes of, uh, it speaks in rhymes of a general kind, I guess. You are utterly deranged. Can't you just let me give you my cryptic, mystical spiel? I'd really rather not. A facade with no memories within expectation, but no manners or sense of self-preservation? Is he calling us a facade? Gah. Enough! 
dealing with you is giving me a headache. Okay, bro. I cannot lend you strength, but I can still assist. After all, fate is static. It'll always persist. Ooh. Are we gonna get our guardian here? Well, I guess that is how we look on the cover. All right. That is an magic ear. Your soul made manifest. You'll need it in the other world to make it through the rest. So a magic gear? Okay. The power of vanity is yours for the taking. A reflection of your ego, a fiend of your making. So we can summon helpers? The fiend of envy has joined you. So, can we command it? That's interesting. Player turn. Alright. Basic controls. Battles are carried out in phases between the player and enemy. Use the left stick to move the current active unit, and press L1 and R1 to switch between units. Press X to pull up the command list. Your phase ends once all units have acted. You can fight enemies by utilizing the arts and authority options under the command list. Arts generally consist of martial techniques and require HP to use. Authorities are abilities wielded by pact bearers and demons and raise the mad gauge upon use. Some arts and authorities only target a single unit, others can affect all targets within a specified range. If an allied unit is within attacking range of an enemy target when attacking normally or using arts, that ally will execute an assist attack. Conversely, if you are within the enemy's range, you will be hit with a counter. Using the fur will end the current unit's turn and allow a unit that has already acted to act again, but at the cost of increasing that unit's mad gauge. Use it as needed to gain the upper hand in battle. For example, by having a powerful unit act multiple times in a row. You are victorious if you fulfill a stage's victory conditions. If the protagonist is KO'd, however, the game will end, resulting in a game over. Okay, protagonist. Get ready. So we're used to that. How peculiar. Huh. So that resets everything, rather than leaving them where they're at. Uh... How do we... Can we only... Enable an ally to act again at the cost of increasing their mad gauge. Here I go. Okay. We recovered seven, which is cool. Uh. And if we defer, we can let him act again, but we don't want to do that. So we've got. We've got our fiends of envy waiting out in front. I shan't move. Hmm. Get ready. Okay. So we can resolve. Gather your resolve, increasing your weight gauge by 25%. Counter, alright. We got him for 17. He counted us for 8. Alright. And if we... If we slash him from behind, though... Back attack. 
get some broski. Now it's our turn. Aha! Get him! Nice! All right! Jumping him! Sleep well. Battle clear. Follow your own star. Okay. Oh, we gained eight greed to our ego. I have no idea if that's good or not. Maybe they'll... Maybe those are our stats, and once we clear certain thresholds, we'll be able to earn new skills or something. So, Dr. Kakeru probably knows a lot more than he's letting on. Maybe he went through this before. <laughs> Where are your calls, your cheering cries? Return to your world now. Go! Claim your prize. Our lives? Right. Tell us more. <laughs> I don't take orders from you. With that, farewell and adieu. Okay, well, I guess Vanitas won't be joining our party anytime soon. Bring your ego and power to bear against the irrational and unfair. Each and every time we do, do we have to journey to this lair? Well, we're pretty strong, so it's not like I care. Especially since we've got our own skeleton that we can bring to bear. Honestly, I can already tell that I'm Act one. Nozomi Hinata. Blind old savior. That felt very Dongon Rompa. But I can already tell I'm really gonna like this freaking game. So, Nozomi is definitely going to be our first party member then. If <sighs> Perfectly fine. Just a little bruised. So, Chio slept through all of that. She answered a call and then immediately passed out. But I'm totally fine. What are you so worried about? You've been unconscious ever since you answered that weird phone call. 
I'll take Chio to the infirmary. You two go on down for now, okay? Is the infirmary also on the first floor? Why don't we just go together? All right. Let's get going then. We can talk about the other world later on. Hmm. So we fight in the other world. Vanitas comes from somewhere else. But right now, we're the only ones capable of summoning a magic gear, I guess. Though Nozomi's probably not going to be too far behind. And what were you doing on the second floor, former student council president Hinata? Ah, so this must be her replacement. This dude sounds super pompous. Hello, Karama. I thought I declared any areas overrun with mist off limits. Ah, uh, he definitely looks villainous. I await your explanation. Ka Kurama. Like Hazama? Alright. He's even dressed like Hazama. Uh, former student council president? You there. Do not interrupt me. <laughs> okay, bro. I thought you were an unfamiliar face. You mean to say you're unaware of what transpired with the student council? Bro, we don't even know how we got here. Then allow me to debrief you. After the mist, barrier, and other anomalies appeared, the last student council tried to dispel the chaos with the faculty. So we're trapped here due to that barrier rather than being transported to the expanse. Okay, the parallels grow. And yet, said chaos has only increased. It was then that a savior appeared to quell the unrest, rallying the students with his overwhelming charisma. And that savior happens to be you? Bro, you look like you've got Kool-Aid brewing in the back. I don't want to follow you. That savior is none other than I. President Kurama Hitotsubashi. Uh, they sound like they're friggin' zombies. Hinata was relieved of her duties, and at the behest of all, I took on the mantle of student council president. So what say you, Hinata? How does it feel to see how much more capable I am in comparison? All you've done is walk in here and glowed. We haven't seen anything. Wait. It's true. I was inadequate for the demands of the office. Well, you were student council president, dude. Nobody was asking you to be tasked with a life or death situation. You weren't unfit for the uh, role or anything like that. Plus, what's up with that other girl's eye? I commend you on acknowledging your inferiority. Now, why did you enter the mist? Because we felt like it. Well... He collapsed within the mist, so you ventured in to save him. And this was with Dr. Kakeru Hasegawa and Chio Aikawa? I feel like we snitched on them for no reason, but... But how would they have known we were in the mist? Yes. I see. So you placed both the Academy's doctor and a middle school student in peril. Your foolishness astounds me. Okay, so she's a middle schooler. You should have come to me. As your student council president, I would have rescued him in a safer manner. Look, bro, unless you've got a magic gear, then you couldn't have. And if you've got a magic gear, then you're already a problem. <laughs> you may no longer hold the position yourself, but you still set a poor example by behaving this way. I believe some discipline is in order. What say the rest of you? He's got them under some kind of mind control. They kept talking about ego. Maybe he's taking control of their selves somehow. Agreed. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. Okay. 
uh, Headmaster Yoru is here to save us. Hopefully, anyways. But would you mind if I borrowed this young man and Miss Hinata? We have urgent matters to discuss. Well, well. If it isn't Ms. Sora Jingu, our beloved Dean. What happened to Yoru? Yoru? My name is Sora Jingu. Are you quite alright? Mmm. Some a little fishies going on here. You! Did I not warn you about interrupting me? Bro, calm down! Dean Jingu, we must consider impeaching Hinata for violating Academy regulations. Impeaching her? I thought you were already student council president. What's left to impeach her from? Impeaching? Of course, it truly breaks my heart to punish one of my peers, but order must be maintained in our academy. Hmm. No further action will be required at this time, Mr. Hitotsubashi. Thanks to you, of course. Thanks to you, of course? Had to stroke his ego a little bit, I guess. And not just for me. The rest of the faculty and student body are all very grateful to you. I'd hate to see you suffer from the guilt of punishing your peers, even if it was done out of responsibility. Surely it'd be fine to let it go this once. Why is she talking to this dude like she has to take his opinion into account? She can't just overrule him? <laughs> As you wish, I'll leave it at that. We wouldn't want my judgment clouded by grief, after all. Come along, everyone. To the student council room. Yeah, you better run. Yes, sir. Remember, Hinata, there won't be a next time. Dude, this guy's got school shooter vibes. Alright. Well, that takes care of the rank and file. Why don't we have a chat in that empty classroom? Dang. We we're barely out of that life and death situation before Karama came uh, at harassing us. Dean Jingu. I see. So you were dragged into the other world after answering a phone call in the mist. So she knows about all that stuff then. Hmm. There's just one thing I need to know. How exactly did you? Uh, I'm wondering if she tell. Uh, I'm wondering if we should tell her about the Imagi Gears. How did they flee the other world and make it back to here? Ha! Huh. I wouldn't be surprised if these two were already prior acquainted. Is that the question you seek to ask, a oh woeful overseer? Vanitas. A demon? No. A monarch? How did you get into this academy? Yeah, okay, so she knows quite a lot. And that face she's making right now. I am the answer for which you strive. Vanitas, the being who helped them survive. Well, he did kind of bury the lead quite a bit, but ultimately it was his help that saved us. A demon? Helping? She is not buying that. So that's how it is. Did you make a pact with a demon in exchange for power? An authority, so to speak. I mean, we didn't really know what we were doing, though. Uh, I did gain an authority, yeah. And what did you wish for? Uh, I wish for the power to survive. Every uh, F everything else. Beset by the legions with nothing to give. No wonder he asked for the power to live. So you weren't actively seeking to become a pact bearer. 
I sense that someone managed to return for being drawn into the other world, but this, I never imagined. So she must be a monarch too then if she has sensing powers. To think a new pact bearer would emerge as a result. A new pact bearer. If I may ask, what sort of authority did you receive? Uh, envy? The authority of vanity? I've never heard of that. Perhaps it's an aberration of some sort. Oh. You're surprisingly knowledgeable about all this demon and otherworld stuff, Miss Sora. Right, dude. That I am. But extenuating circumstances prevented me from talking about them before. Maybe because nobody would know what she was talking about? These secrets are normally reserved for the head of the Jingu family, as is the position of Academy Dean. However, seeing as you already know, there's no point in hiding things any further. I'll answer any questions you have. Hmm... I do want to know... Let's start with... Well, I guess there's no problem starting with the top. There is a metaphysical plane that exists separately from the physical world, ascertainable only via cognition alone. Okay... That is the realm you visited. The other world. Alright. I feel like that didn't really help a lot, but we can go with that for now. Demons are supernatural beings that live in the other world. They feed off the egos of humans. Uh, okay. So if they feed off the egos of humans, may maybe that's what happened to Kurama's lackeys. They don't have any more ego because he fed them to demons. There are seven demons known as monarchs, one for each sin. As progenitors of lesser demons, they are of the highest order. So we became the demon of we became the monarch of vanity, so we're a demon ourselves then? If they make a pact with someone, they are then able to provide their pact bearer with an authority. Ha. Huh. In order to make a pact, one must have a cause, a strong ego, the ability to perceive the other world, and a wish. Four things, that's a whole friggin' lot. But vanity is an aberration. It isn't one of the deadly sins. Your pact with that monarch was incidental at best. So that means there are going to be eight? Vanity plus the uh, the classical seven deadly sins? Consider a far-fetched goal. Curing an incurable illness, for example. Reality can't be changed no matter how hard you wish. But if someone learned that the power to overturn reality existed... They'd do whatever they could to get it, I guess? Would they be able to resist temptation? Even if such power came from demons and gave rise to widespread distortions. Distortions. Which, maybe that's the, what the phone call was, what the mist is, or what the barrier is? The distortions could be anything, really. Powers from the other world are against the natural order. Continued usage of them will cause our world to distort. The mist. The barrier around the academy, the calls from the other world, all are byproducts of a pact bearer's authority. The calls from the other world. So I guess that's how we enter into battle in this game. We accept a call from the other world or deny it. So please, unless the situation demands it, I ask that you avoid using your authority on campus. Where else are we supposed to use it if we're trapped at uh, Shin Mikado? The Jingu family has maintained balance in the world ever since the Academy's founder discovered the existence of demons. We've attempted to prevent the emergence of new Pact Bearers at any cost. Ah. And yet they've appeared regardless. We are currently aware of at least seven others. Jeez. But maybe the seven other Pact Bearers don't know that they're Pact Bearers? Because Nozomi's got to be one, right? Avoiding their packs is the only way to put a stop to these anomalies and restore normality. If it's if getting things back to normal is as easy as voiding the packs, well, I guess we don't know what voiding a pact entails just yet. Might I ask you to use your powers for the welfare of our academy? 
I believe a packed bear of your circumstances would be perfect for this task. Please, bear with me. Your compliance would be appreciated. Uh... I mean, there's no reason not to, right? You have my thanks. Huh? Now then, would you prefer a detailed explanation on how to void the packs? Or will the gist of things suffice? Uh, I'd like the details, honestly. When a demon makes a pact with a human, three crystals known as ideals form in the other world. Okay. These are the source of a pact bearer's power. Once shattered, their pact will be voided. The mist in the academy is a side effect of a pact bearer's authority. As such, it too is connected to the ideals. So... Everybody has three crystals that power their authority? In the mist, you'll receive calls that will take you to the other world. There, you'll find the ideals. In short, just walk around the academy grounds and smash those ideals wherever they're found. Though it pains me to ask this of a student, the fate of our academy is in your hands. So... Every time we get into a random encounter, we have a chance to destroy an ideal? <laughs> Good luck. Mr. Vinitas, I would appreciate if you concealed yourself around any students who are unaware of the situation. Oh my gosh, that mouth. Your appearance would cause a great deal of panic, to put things lightly. I'm here for the boy, so don't worry your head. My only concern is what road he will tread. I'll take that to mean you intend to behave. These are reference materials about demons, packed bears, and the other world. Give them a read when you get the chance. Um, probably won't, but... Registered packs, the other world, on demons, demon ranks, monarchs, nobles, and legion volumes of the Cromwell records and library. Cromwell. That sounds familiar. I'll be taking my leave now. Hmm. All right, well, we got a lot of information about what's going on. Register Kurama Hitotsubashi's profile. Register Sorajingu's profile. Register Vanitas's profile. Register Nozomi Hinata's profile. When you defeated the Legion Horde, you earned some spirits as a reward. You can use them to upgrade your power's effects or for items to use in your other world treks. So spirits are the currency. Speak to me should you ever seek to spend your spirits. Creating and dismantling. Creating allows you to spend your spirit to craft items while dismantling allows you to exchange items for spirit. Spirit can also be used to unlock abilities and level units. The selection of creatable items will expand as the story progresses. Chaos never ends, does it? Oh, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Nozomi Hinata. I'm a third year here at the Academy. Nice to properly meet you. I guess it makes sense that she would be a third year if she was student council president. Thank you for your help in the other world. You're the reason we were able to make it back safely. Hmm. It looks like she still has something to say. The chaos never ends, does it? Oh, right. Oh, I guess... I haven't entered my name. Thank you. It's still... Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to get better at, like, seeing that... Phone menu. Oh, smartphone menu. The smartphone menu contains a variety of features. To-do list and map display your story progress and location. Call lets you contact the underworld, uh, other world under special conditions. Character allows you to view or enhance a unit's abilities. Item allows you to check items in your possession. Library lets you view the myriad reading materials you collect throughout the game. Achievement contains various records and trophies. Profiles lets you view more in-depth information on the various characters you encounter. Hmm. For right now, we'll drop our very first save. And I think we'll actually call it a part here. So definitely join me next time for more Monarch. Bye for now, guys.